Hi everybody, Pat over Petrie Ford. Got something special here today. It's a prototype Bronco Sport. Not to be confused with the big brother uh, official Bronco, which is our Jeep competitor. Um, this uh, Consider this a uh, an escape with some off-road attitude. Um, it's not doing it justice though. Um, this is part of the Bronco line. It's uh, made for off-roading and of course family cruising too. I'll take you on a mini tour here. Uh, since this is a prototype, everyone in the dealership is super interested in it, so if you see a few extra heads bobbing around and taking a peek, uh, please just mind them. So this is the top-of-line version, the Badlands. You can tell a few features right off the bat. Signature lighting with your LED lights here. Projectors, of course. There's a front-facing camera here as well that you can see. I do not see parking sensors in the front, so it looks like parking assist technology may not be on these particular models. 17 inch rims. What I really like about this, um, and I'm not trying to make parallels with the Land Rover Defender, um, but there's a nice safari roof, and by that I mean it goes here and it kind of curves up and over. Gives a lot more cargo room and headroom in the back. Take a look here. Now, it's hard to see in the, with uh, a two-dimensional screen that you're looking at, but it goes right up. Lots of extra cargo room. I mean, uh, what that means is the moonroof isn't necessarily panoramic, but actually it's a pretty big moonroof. It covers the entire front section. Uh, being in the back seat, of course, the seats flip down, of course. Nice mica suede in with the two-tone leather. Secure pockets. Pretty cool. Mole fasteners. You got your, what I call a home style or 110 volt plug in the back. Tweeters, six inch drivers. So here's a feature never before seen since 2012. Uh, 12 escapes and before at the glass, which is nice. Easy access to the back without opening the hatch. That being said, when you do open the hatch, you're greeted with a few things. So you've got your sight lights. So these are directional. You can move those around. Um, shines down and illuminates the area around you. You got another 110 volt plug here to your 12 volt, of course. Neat little Easter eggs around. There's a little, uh, I don't know if you can see that quite right, but that's a little lasso. You can see those around. I'm not saying they took these Easter egg things from Jeep, but mm, you know. <laughs> Another cool feature, bottle opener. Super neat. We do see our parking sensors, trailer tow. Of course this matting here. One of the cool accessories that I saw that you can get for it, connecting here and here would be a bar. You take the front wheels off your mountain bikes, you click the fork into the bar, and then you've got basically indoor storage for your mountain bikes. Another neat thing with the seat here, if you see that, a little hidden storage compartment. Has a picture of a shoe, cool. <laughs> molded floor mats and then in the front very nice two-tone leather with the mica suede and the Bronco logo moonroof is bigger than your standard moonroof here's your drive mode selector gear shifter you do his own climate your seat heat USB 3.0 smart ports, your touch screen, intelligent access with push button start, all your standard steering wheel controls that we're all used to by now, nice Bronco logo in the center of that steering wheel. We should see these on the lot. Our Ford rep promises us by December. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe sometime around then we'll get the stat sheets out we'll tell you what's uh what's changed if any and we'll go through everything in detail but until then this is a nice little teaser hope you enjoy we'll chat soon take care